In this lesson, we'll be discussing the process of amidation. This is not to be confused with amination. Amidation is the process whereby nitrogen is incorporated into an organic molecule forming an amide. An amide is a compound containing an amine bound to a carboxyl group, as you can see on the screen. In the process of amination, however, that's the introduction of one or more amino groups into a compound. So it's not necessarily a reaction involving a carboxyl and an amine containing molecule. That being said, the question reads, draw the condensed structural formula for the amide product in each of the following reactions. As you can see that there's already a carboxyl group right here where I'm hovering over. And we know that this NH3 will form a bond with carbon. Therefore, the product in this reaction should be the following. You have your benzene ring. That part stays the same. This forms a single bond with NH2. And one of these hydrogens in the OH will form a water molecule. In question B, we have the following organic compound. As you can see, we have a carboxyl group again. And it's coming together with ethylamine. Ethylamine. Just as before, this OH will be replaced with everything found here. Our product will be CH3, C double bonded to oxygen, and the rest of the molecule. Let's move on to question two. Draw the condensed structural formulas for the carboxylic acid and amine needed to prepare the following amide. So unlike before, they're giving us the product and we need to come up with the reactants. Take a look at this part right here. That part is important. We have nitrogen single bonded to these two methyl groups and bonded to this hydrogen. This part of the molecule was simply a carboxyl group. A carboxyl group on its own like this has the name formic acid. So these are the two reactants that need to come together to form the structure. And there you have it, a quick discussion on amidation.